do have Mike Seidel now in Fort Myers. Want to take you direct. Mike, we see the flooding behind you. Uh, how bad is it getting? Hey, Marshall. Good morning from Fort Myers Beach. And Gabrielle is uh, battering these beaches this morning. We've had quite an overwash out here from the Gulf of Mexico. We're estimating the storm surge to be about three to four. You can see how it's covered all the sand on the beach. And look at that catamaran over there. That catamaran has really been battered and obviously is uh, a total loss. Something else we've noticed, the force of the water. We often talk about this when you uh, run across a flooded street. Look at this car over here. Now this car was turned about 120 degrees by the force of the water. In fact, we thought it was almost floating down the road. And as we look out towards the Stero, between those two buildings is the intercoastal. So this whole area here is completely underwater and we're still getting wind gusts pushing 45 to 50 miles an hour. And we're gonna deal with this for several more hours at least. High tide is until around 11.30 or 12. And until we get the winds to blow offshore, we're gonna have this water higher than average. Again, everything is covered with water. Uh, the hotel rooms here too, the first floor rooms have at least uh, six inches, if not over a foot of water in them, including my room. That was the first thing I felt when I got out of bed this morning was water under my feet. We'll keep you uh, posted on the situation here. Emergency management officials are just saying, sit tight and ride it out, and we'll get through it. It should, uh, the water should back off. The rainfall ended several hours ago, so the urban flooding is already improved. We'll keep you updated as long as we can get a signal out. Back to you in the studio. And folks watching getting a good idea of just what storm surge is, or at least the overwash that causes the flooding.